tonight on Big Brother. She's obsessed. Obsessed with Ed. Tim rejected by Jade. Seriously lovesick. But has he discovered the truth about her and Ed? Ed's not into her. I don't really know what to say to Ed this morning. I don't want to scare him off even more. Jade's Ed dilemma. Stop worrying about the future. Did you sleep good? Yeah, I did. did yeah, you? I did too. Yeah. Oh. Good morning, big brother. You look so funny in that bed. You look like a real princess. Like <laughs> <laughs> too big. While Jade and Tim wake up to the luxuries of the presidential suite, back in the main house, Buttercup is waiting to be milked. I wonder how Tim and Jade's night was. Mm, I really want to know. I want to know truthfully. Um. Hey, what about in Rome? Um, three times. What did you do? The first time we were there because Dad was donating an artwork to the Vatican. Oh, really? The Pope. Mm -hmm. He did a portrait of the Pope and the Pope wanted it. Shut up. Mm -hmm. The actual Pope wanted his artwork. Yeah, not this one, the old one. Mm. Well, imagine them with peanut butter on them. Oh my God. Oh my God, stop it. To try to win a better food budget this week, the housemates have had the task of washing cars. Tully hasn't even done it yet. Well, if you ask her, she'll say it's because Big Brother hates her. Yeah, that's So just, don't ask her. That's what she said last night. Yeah. This is Big Brother, Ben and Tully. You are next on duty at the big car wash. Oh, no. Big Brother does love you, Tully. No, now she'll think he no. doesn't because we're just about to have breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Big Brother, I want out. Your brother hates me. See, now I can work out. Oh, yeah, okay. I just stayed here and supported you all yesterday. That's fine. Hang on, go on. No, you did. That's a lie. When you wash the car. Oh, the car wash. I'm talking about the first. I'm talking about the first shift where I didn't wash a single one. Oh, oh, sorry. Unbelievable. I don't know what a woman's doing here at the <laughs> car wash, but. Yeah, you're probably fine at your gasket. <laughs> yeah. You look great. I looked at your alternator there and that's shot, but I reckon you got... Yeah, the... A couple of miles left on that one. Yeah, you can do it. Big brother hates me. Thanks, Ed. I wonder how JD went. Mm. Mm. I will hear all about it, no doubt. We will. We will definitely hear all about it. <laughs> Let's jump down, Charles. That's really nice. Looks like oh. a oh. That's me. That's me. It's pretty oh easy. Oh, my God. Oh. What? No whoa, way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. What the fuck was that? Guys, what? it's a wash, rinse, dry, wax and polish. And there's one of the things. I can't clean it. We only have 10 minutes, Ben, so we're going to have to haul it's off. It's super right? quick. Yeah, no, I'm ready. Ben and Tully. It's time to shine. Yeah. Coming up. Well, there's nothing to tell. Tim's date disaster with Jade. The date lasts for about five minutes. I got bored of her talking about it. To save Tahan, call 1902 559513. SMS Tahan to 199 Or vote on Facebook. Grandpa Ninja. Mm. 
That's what I'm gonna be. Yep, that's what you already are, mate. <laughs> oh, he's back. Tully and Ben have washed and waxed the vintage car, but will its vintage owner approve? What do you think? Let's see if he gives it a thumbs up or... Oh. Yeah! Isn't that a cool hat? Yours isn't bad. Bye! Yeah, that's cool. Bye! 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 See ya. Bye! Thank you. Come again. I said, Welcome back! Hello. Imagine if they were, hello. Hello. It'd be kind of fun. Hello. hello. Beautiful. You guys look so refreshed. Oh. Did you have fun? Oh my god. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It's yeah. relaxing. Yeah. 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 I haven't had a shower. <laughs> right. I haven't had yeah. a shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How How Does Jade look different? Why? Yeah, she's, she's pregnant. She's, she's oh. glowing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she's glowing. <laughs> well, I was just thought I'd come in here and give you the goss on the big hot date last night. Do tell. Well, there's nothing to tell. The date lasts for about five minutes. I got bored of her talking about Ed. <laughs> It's just like, he doesn't want to get close to me because he doesn't, you know, like, what is so bad about getting close to someone in here? That's the thing that I don't understand. I know it's not the real world, and I know when you get out there, things can change. But if we got out here as a couple mm. and sit, saw if it worked on the outside, why is that such a bad thing? It mm. seems like it's a bad thing to him because he doesn't want to be a couple on the outside or the inside. I didn't think she was that... Seriously lovesick. She's obsessed. Obsessed with Ed. And Ed's not into her. I think he's the same thing as me. He just appreciates a pretty girl. But in here, I don't think he's going to actually start a relationship with her. In terms of baggage, Jade's got a lot of check-in. She's paying for extra. Mmm. I don't really know what to say to Ed this morning. I don't know, I just feel awkward and now I feel like Ed's going to come over and have another one of those, you know, we're not a couple conversations, so you can do what you want and blah, 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 and those conversations are just really annoying because they're like a slap in the face every time. It's like, I don't want you. I'll get the other one from Matt. I don't want to scare him off even more. Like, I'm not going to say, I think we could have a relationship on the outside. I'm not going to say that to him because I think that could really freak him out and make him run for the hills. You've got to be careful with guys what you say, <laughs> especially when they've got a wall up. Yup, I'm good at that. Worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. Live in the moment. Stop worrying about the future. Good, one more. Get up, mate, get up. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge. Ta! Oh, that's it. Where do my shorts go? <sighs> it's time to hear the result of the car wash task. Will it be what? feast or famine for the house? Some housemates' attention to detail was slightly lacking. <laughs> housemates, this week you have failed <laughs> the shopping task. <laughs> receive a bland diet of staples. Oh, no. oh, that is all. Can we ask oh, my God. God. What? Big Brother's supply of food staples is healthy but dull. Failing the task means they only have $5 a head to buy the things they like. OK, so essentials are eggs. Yeah. yeah. Bread. Bread. Butter. 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 Oil. 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 I'm happy with pasta and oil every night. Did you so have eggs on that? I'm happy with fried rice. Love it. Nice olive oil. Love yeah. it. Fried rice, I love you that. just need eggs. Peasant's meal. I Some love it. Some meat to put in there. Coming up. All we've been is completely honest with each other. 
I do feel like I am with Ed right now. To save Tully, call 1902 SMS Tully to 199 or vote on Facebook. Sisters Katie and Lucy are one housemate and must follow the strict rule of keeping within three metres of each other at all times. This is Big Brother. Everybody freeze. Ben, would you mind counting out the amount of paces between Katie and Lucy? Really? That's three metres, surely. <laughs> Bigger! Two. Yeah, that's three. Big Brother, hey. that's three, definitely. Unlucky. <laughs> Katie, Lucy. Yes? You now have to hold hands until further instruction. OK. OK, Big Brother. Come here. Damn it, damn, damn. needed now is a full bow to your fellow housemates. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Before Jade's overnight stay in the presidential suite, she left behind one of her favourite bracelets for Ed to discover under his pillow. Uh, <laughs> I just left it my bracelet, so... Do you think it was a nice date? Do you think it was a successful date? No, no, she's in love with Ed. Mm. Obsessed with him. She'll have her vanilla and plain for a while and then she'll get bored. Whether you like it or not, I don't care about you, so... I said that to each other, I said that I'm going. I'm just trying to deal with whatever this is. Yeah. The best that I have in a situation I know nothing of. Like, yeah. I've never been in a situation. And that's what I, I do agree with that. Sorry, big brother. I think that what we're doing is great. And yes, we're being getting closer. And I really like that too. Just wasting a time. Oh. <laughs> One day she'll, um, she realise that you're the man for her. Both Ed and Jade suspect Tim is making trouble for them. Uh, Tim's a very smart individual. He's really, really smart. He's very cunning and he's very um, deceptive in his ways. But I think everyone's slowly becoming aware of it. I think he will come unstuck because I have a feeling he's trying to do that. or He's trying to break Jade and I apart in here um, and make either myself or Jade look like a bad person when we're not at all. Uh, all we've been is completely honest with each other. Between us girls, I... I do feel like I am with Ed right now. I feel like we're in the very early stages of dating where you don't really know if you're together, so you probably could go do something else, but that's just not me. You know, we're not dating, um, but obviously in here we, we find comfort in one another. I'm very, very comfortable with her and I... I would definitely say she's comfortable with me. It's not like in here I'm saying, oh, I'm with Ed, and me going, you know, deluding myself, thinking it's something more than it is. It's just who I am. When I'm sort of interested in someone, I stick to that one person. To save Katie and Lucy, call 1902 55912, SMS sisters to 199 or vote on Facebook. Wife. This wife. is Big Brother. Who am I? Oh. Are you a male? Yes. Okay. Are you Australian? Yes. Okay. Are you on reality TV? No. Are, Are you under 40? No. Are you an actor? No. Are you a politician? No. Are you a sports person? No. Are you Big Brother, Big Brother? No. Wait, what have we got? Was Male, it, it, Ed? Did you know the musician? Or Did he say he was musician? Are you, are you affiliated with Channel 9? Male, 40? over 40, no. Australian. Yes. 
Somebody else go. I've already asked a question. Oh, no. I've already asked. He's He's one. Are you Bert Newton? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! You said you that. You got it. Good one. Good job. Good job. Okay, I'm not wearing any clothes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you tell me where your batteries are? Um, it's on the island. I'll get it, just stay there. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And it's a full moon. Up there. I heard you're naked. Don't worry, I'm not looking. <laughs> not looking. It's just going to pop out. Cotton? What are you doing? Dude, I'm trying to sleep and there's couples in, my, in our bedroom. I know. This has been my bed for all of five days in this place. What? I've been in this bed all, all but five days. All, all but five. Five nights. I think hiding would have been seen as this comfortable. No. So it makes me think in another two weeks, what will we be? <laughs> have a good sleepover. <laughs> yeah. I was like. <laughs> I was like, we were watching like, how's he going to do serious. this? How's he going to do it? How's he going to do it? Like brushing your sheets, <laughs> no. taking a no, drink. Are you, are you going to sleep there from now on? No. <laughs> <laughs> so like, when's the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on in here, please. Eh? Well, we're still being immature. <laughs> Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.